And so Killua declares war on the entire Zoldic family. Classic. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. My name is Jack the Buster, I Shinobi. We have episode 140 of our Hunter Hunter Watch Story called Join Battle and Open Battle. Killua has rescued his younger sister Aloka from the Zoldic estate in a vault where she's been locked up for so many years to, due to the insane power that I think has sort of scared the, their parents over the years. And especially Illumi, who's headed to try to find Killua now and I guess take out Aloka. Meanwhile, the entire chairman election is still going on but they can't get enough people to show up nor can they get a overwhelming majority for one candidate if you're new to the channel drop a sub and hit that big wood bell and let's hop into it oh i hear a beep it's gotta be going in the hospital what is this what is this is that nin aura just chilling is that how bad of shape he's in <laughs> Oh my. Is she like an exorcist? A Nen exorcist? I know one! Oh shoot, they're headed out, baby. Gosh, he is in terrible shape. They're trying every. Oh, they had even Melody pay a visit! A covenant. Sort of like a contract? Yeah. I think he said contract. I thought that's what she was and then exorcist. He can guarantee it through Alaka. But is it not? I don't know. Because, I mean, the risk of using an N exorcist, I guess, is like him not having Nen ever again, maybe. Whatever the, the payoff of having the favor done. Oh. What? Oh, the butler! He's been listening? Mm -hmm. Level 4 is like the security, like... Yeah, okay, I was about to say. Outside alert level. I mean, there's not much the butlers are going to be able to do about Killua, though. Especially if he leaves. Oh, what? Bro, it's like GTA stars? They chase after him? Oh my gosh. Could the butlers actually catch Killua? I mean, technically he did three. Yeah. Without permission. Okay, so Alika's not allowed to have a phone? Or Killa was not allowed to have a phone? Oh no, they said Alika is an object. I'm messing talk to her. Oh, learn. Oh. He doesn't need to do any of that to use her power. Oh shoot! Oh, they're gonna go with him. They have to. They have to escort him. Oh, I forgot her name. She was so sweet though. Canary, by far one of my favorite parts about the Zoldic, uh sort of arc. <laughs> oh, another butler? Two more butlers? Oh my gosh! Wait, the grandma is the bigger one? She buff, bro. Oh my gosh! Oh, wait, she's in the intro, isn't she? Subon? Bro, she looks scary. I, I don't even lie. Holy. Jigga Chat Grandma. He's scared of her. Yeah, I, I bet. She seems like, like the mean substitute teacher. Like, when you see that sub walk in, you're like, oh, today's gonna be terrible. You just know the vibe is ruined. And he's scared of her for a reason, I'm guessing. Yep. Even he's sweating from her being there. <laughs> she alphas kill him while she's the only one. Aw, Aluka's sticking up for him. <laughs> Is she scared of Aluka? <laughs> I would be, bro. In what, in what, in, wait, what other old lady? <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Canary's always been about helping Killua, though. Yeah. Dang, dude. I, we saw that whole flashback of when they were really, really young. Amane. Oh, they've never met? Wait, so were they off, off the... Uh, no, no, they were... So how have they never met if they're all butlers? Oh. She's asking Subon? Oh my gosh. So, Alaka, I'm assuming, knows the full extent of her powers? I don't know, though. Maybe not. I don't know. She's still quite young. I don't know how much they've told her or admitted to her. Hey, that one girl from Chainsaw Man does it every time she summons that one devil, so... I mean... Come on, it's not a big deal, Subo. Oh, oh, just follow secretly behind? Oh. Dang. Dang, they got a whole entourage, bro. She's like, uh, that Subo's probably so glad that she left. She did not want to have to fulfill more requests. Yeah, I don't think Aloka really, really understands everything about the power. Uh-oh. She's so sweet, but does, does that power scares me, man. He just wants to take care of her. Oh. The side of Killua is so sweet. It's so heartwarming, man. All for gone. Big brother Killua. What are they doing on the tablets? I just, I, I'm expecting to hear like the Coca Melon theme song from Alakas. <laughs> Well, I'm guessing. <gasps> Leoria! Let's go! He's back, baby! Oh, he's with Melody. Melody's got a fire fit on. <laughs> he remembers him. The coin guy. Oh, dude, the reunion! I was wondering when Leorio and Karapika would be sort of involved. Man, I missed him, dude. I wonder how it's been in whatever schooling he's been doing. Now Leorio's taking a step back. He does know. Loki, this butler kind of looks like like he'd be like Leorio's dad. Goto just doing his job. Now is Killua gonna pull a fast one and try to like you know speak in code? Nah, it doesn't seem like it. Seeing Leorio and Morel in the same room is so jarring, man. It's like a clashing of two worlds. <laughs> I don't think Leorio really fully understands what Morel went through with them. Oh my. Oh? I wonder how different the Chimera Antark would have been if Leorio and Karapika had been there. And like Melody and others if it had ended up differently. No one inside the entire building, bro? Oh my gosh. They can't even have a, a whiff of, of this power of how it works. You can't just tell other patients to leave, man. Bro, Leorio's gonna lose it. Yeah, he's calm now. He has the phone. <laughs> oh my gosh. Ah. Uh, that's a much better idea. Isolate Gon. Don't isolate the rest of the hospital somewhere else. No, Morel, Morel trusts Killua. After everything they've been through, if Killua says, trust me, like, I have this plan, he's like, I'll do anything. He's like, Morel, you seem like a, you seem like an understanding man. But understandably, uh, Leorio wouldn't want to put the hand, put this into the hands of someone he doesn't know. We've, we've seen what they've been through. Oh, you can just have him teleport everything, I'm guessing? 
Something more than a Nen Exorcist. That's the only one in the. Oh, wow. Like I said, morale trusts Killua after everything. When you go to hell and back with someone, you do. Yep. Oh, Leorio's coming around. I'm so glad Morel lived through everything, man. Oh, I love him so much. Need to have a word with Karapika? I don't know. Where is Karapika, bro? Yeah, I'm, I'm guessing Karapika. Oh, yeah. Let, let me go. Oh, did we get to see? What the? I was in a suit? What is going on? Oh, the speech. They're doing their speeches? Oh, yeah, they are. His golden suit. He's going to be the best one out of all of them to talk to people. Oh, Jing actually showed up. Oh, my gosh. Damn, this is going to turn into a debate? And it's funny, all this public stuff is going on with the association with his father, Gon's father here, and Gon can't even see. Gon's just, you know, like a coma. I have a bad feeling everything's going to be resolved with Gon, and Jing, it'll be by the time all this is over, and Jing's going to be in hiding again. Wait, was Karapika going to this? Or... <gasps> oh, and he knows Jing is Gon's dad. Oh my gosh. <gasps> oh my gosh. Bro. I wonder if he's going to be like, yeah. That's what I've been saying, man. Dang, dude. Giga Chad Leorio. For real, man. Be a father. This should be a good one. I'm his friend. I appreciate it. Yeah, oh, that, that, did, that did not answer a single thing. I love, I love Leorio, man. Bro, you're his dad. For real. You are his father. He is unconscious. Oh man, Leorio's pissed, bro. Oh my gosh! Leorio must have power spiked, bro! What a punch! There was like electricity behind. What? What? Oh, damn! Oh my god, Leorio just punched Jing. Oh my gosh! He just portal gun punched Jing! Wait, what a sick power, though. I don't know when he developed this, but that is dang. He actually it was like a portal gun. Well, he, he punched down, and then it was like a line that drew and then connected to another sort of portal. Oh, my gosh. Sorry, I'm going to be honest. That felt so good. It is so frustrating seeing how Jing operates and how little care he has about his son. You can say he's like, oh, he's just saying he only, he only needs his friends. He doesn't need me. But you're his father, bro. I don't blame Leorio for getting so mad. It's so frustrating never did i think i'd see the day though where leorio laid out jing that was that was incredible it's just like like i said all these worlds colliding of different sides we've seen over the course of the show seeing leorio interact with morel and it's all just kind of i guess drawing up to a the chairman and b golden's condition i don't think leorio punching him is going to change his mind though jing seems like the type of person to like he decides for himself and nobody influences anything he does but guys this has been it for episode 140 of our hunter hunter watch so do drop us up on the channel if you are new, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace, peace.